Good morning. This is the teaser video for this coming Sunday, which would be um, July 16th. It'd be the day after the community picnic. So hopefully everyone is praying for the community picnic and that everything goes well and that we're able to make a lot of connections and, and talk to a lot of people. Um, if you're able to come out and join us, we love it. That's, um, the picnic is actually this Saturday, July 15th from 11 to 2. Um, we'll start setting up around 9, and then we always need people to help tear down. Hopefully, we'll have everything tear down and put away by 3. Um, but the teaser for this coming um, Sunday, July 16th, have you ever been in a situation where somebody asks, what do I need to do to make it right? I think almost everyone has been in that type of situation. Where, you know, oh, you know, I'm sorry, what do I need to do to make it right? And a lot of times it's, you know, you know, do I need to write a check to fix something that got damaged? Um, do I need to, you know, give you a rain check on the babysitting? Whatever it might be. Um, there's a lot of different things that that phrase, what do I need to do, um, comes up. It's interesting because the Israelites said that a lot too. <laughs> you know, with God, there were a lot of ideas of what do they need to do to get right with God, to repent, confess, or whatever. Um, the passage I'm preaching on, actually my, the title of my sermon, I just gave it to you, what do I need to do? But the passage is Micah chapter six, verses six through eight, Micah chapter six, verses six through eight. And you'll see some, th um, so that's what I'm going to ask you to read. And you'll see, um, the Israelites kind of asking that question, what do I need to do? And they kind of make, put some suggestions out, but God's response has nothing to do with what they're throwing out there. And I think you're going to see a big change or a, 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 a hopefully open up in our eyes a big eye-opening experience um, to the answer, what do I need to do? Um, so the teaser video, the, the challenge is read that and you'll see what the Israelites are offering or what they need to do. But the last verse um, kind of gives you Jesus's or, or God's, because Old Testament, God's response, the Lord's response on how to approach those type of questions. And I think if you get the approach, I'm going to be covering it during my sermon, so I don't want to give it out in the teaser video unless you're able to dig it up and find it yourself. Um, but I think this will answer a lot of questions with how people do their spiritual journey, how people um, do ministry, um, how people go about the process. And I'm hoping this will open up some eyes. So for any time you hear that question, what I need to do, what do I need to do? Um, when it comes to relationship with God, relationship with Jesus, um, relationship in ministry. Um, I think this is a good passage. Again, verse 8 kind of gives you uh, the Lord's or God's response. Um, but again, Micah chapter 6, verses 6 through 8. If it's kind of vague, I don't want to give it away. <laughs> I want to save that for Sunday. Um, but it does give you something to look up. And again, the question that the, the Israelites kept saying is, what do I need to do? Okay, so I look forward to seeing everyone hopefully Saturday at the picnic at the, on the, on the 15th this 15th and i hope to see everyone on sunday until then take care be safe um stay as cool as possible we are in the dog days of summer see you soon bye